People have been gathering at Memorial Park all day long, getting ready for tonight's City of Omaha Celebrates America concert. The national anthem and event welcome are just starting, but the park open at 5 a.m. for people <laughs> wanting to save their spot. And with the City of Omaha celebrating America in a grand way, it's bringing a welcome energy to the area. 3 News Now reporter Isabella Basco is joining in on all the excitement and also joining us now live. Isabella, what's the vibe there right now? Well, Mark and Mary spend the day here at Memorial Park and you'll find people from all walks of life. You can see things are really just getting started over here and everyone's just eager to soak up the sun. From longtime attendees. Every year we try to get out here and get some good seats and, and, and enjoy the show. Four o'clock, set the alarm, come out here got your car all ready to go with the stuff in it, come out here and unload. And we're finished. We're ready to go for tonight. Couples rebooting tradition. We moved back from KC in 2016. Mm -hmm. I think probably since 2016. Yeah. And we were there for a few years, but then I came a lot when I was a kid. And living for the music. We are from California, so we love Cheryl Crow and her music. These are just some of the stories of tens of thousands of people expected to show up tonight. Bruce Sweat and Jerry Wissing have been coming for 20 years. This morning, they showed up before the sun rose to get prime seating. Usually our wives do it, but we decided to do it this year based upon their instructions, right? <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Natalie Lynch grew up south of Dodge. As a kid, she was a frequent concert goer. Now she's rekindling that childlike wonder with Reuben Daniel. We were joking with our neighbors. We're like, we are definitely getting a little older because now the musical acts were like, oh yeah, this will be great. And I remember being a kid being like, I don't know who. Who that is. Alan Katie Torres moved to Nebraska from California three years ago. It's their first time here. They used to live across the street from a park that also threw concerts. But this. A cover band kind of concerts is type of yeah. deal. But, so, but Cheryl Crow will. Right. Cheryl Crow. We'll do the Cheryl That's Crow. Huge. A sentiment widely shared. It's going to be a lot of fun. Great city, you know, yeah. for Omaha to do stuff like this and everything else that they do. Both Sweat and Wissing say once they've claimed their stake here at Memorial Park, they've never had anything taken from them that applies to chairs and water bottles, and that really speaks to the spirit and the camaraderie right here. And I guess all everyone wants to do is just have some fun, which, as you can see in here behind me, that's what everyone is starting to do on this Friday night. Live at Memorial Park, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now. Thanks, Isabella. I like the guys who are following their wives' directions. <laughs> Here's what to know before you go. If you plan to drive through the area even, Metro will have some extra buses around, but also detours for its route starting at 930. If you're heading eastbound, the route will go north on 72nd, right on Western, and then south on 52nd and continue on to Dodge. If you're taking the bus west, expect to take Saddle Creek and turn left on California Street, right on 52nd, left on Western, and left on 72nd second before then connecting with Dodge. And the event started at 545 with the national anthem. The first performers include the Krabby Blues Band and Dave Mason. Cheryl Crow is headlining and if it makes you happy, you should know that she takes the stage at 845. Her performance is followed by fireworks at 10. And if you want to go, make sure to plan ahead. The park opened at 5 this morning for those who wanted to put down a blanket and reserve one of those spots. Tarps and stakes in the ground, they're not allowed, but you can use heavier blankets, sandbags or small weights. Tents, canopies and umbrellas are also not allowed and neither are drones. All items are subject to inspection. And for parking, it's free at the UNO surface lots and the inside parking garage. There will also be spots north of Memorial Park on the east side of the street. Some surrounding neighborhood roads will turn into one-way streets and temporary no parking zones will be signed and enforced in these areas. We've got more information for you all compiled on 3newsnow.com.